finishers. Uh, back in my day, coach, I was known for quite the cannonball belts. So uh, one of the ways I did it was working uh, out of the box. So we call these delt 20s. And basically, it's focused around two things. Continuous tension, or constant tension, pumping, as we call it. And one of the other ways of making a movement harder, especially in functional training, is to add locomotion. Nobody ever thinks of that when training body parts, but we're going to add some locomotion here. So basically, coach is going to do 20 non-lockout reps of delts, uh, presses. Then he's going to do 20 alternating front raises, but he's going to do it by walking, so we're adding locomotion. Then he's going to turn around, he's going to do 20 side laterals, also with locomotion. And then he's going to finish with 20 upright ropes. That's 80 reps in a set. Two of these at the end of a delt workout, you're toastified. So coach, you want to get into that? And we'll just, we'll just get right into it. So he's going to start 20, nice and heavy, but no lockouts. So we'll get that constant tension and start to fry the delts. Threes, fours, fives, sixes, eights, nines, tens, elevens. See that constant tension. So the triceps aren't helping at all. It's all delts. He's going to shoot 20. Bam. Awesome. Drops. Picks up the weight, and now he's going to start doing alternating front raises with a walk. So we're adding the locomotion, just a little bit of a proprioceptive tweak. He's going, going, and he keeps that movement going. And soon he'll have to start sort of throwing him a little bit. And again, you'll be amazed what this little tweak of locomotion adds to the set, especially now that he's already tired from those 20 non lockout reps. He's killing it, he's killing it. Good reps, coach. Come on, get it going. Finish. Yes. Count them out. Count them out. Yeah. Go. Get your 20s. Yeah. Good. Awesome. This is double 20s, so he's got to get 20 each side, which is actually 40 all together. Good. Awesome. I was going to come. Again, we're going to add the, the step, the locomotion, and ones, twos, threes. You'd be surprised how hard this is to coordinate at this point, folks. He's going to get his 20. Getting tough. See, it's getting tough to even walk now. Good. We got that toenail, the fingernail action. This is a hybrid, hybrid circuit that we're doing, but really, really delt oriented. Come on, coach, blast them out. 20s, 20s, right on. It's going to take a little bit of a, some air. You see the veins popping? Bam! It's going to blast out 20. Come on. All through now, we just burn it all through. Medial delt, front delt, rear delt. This is a total club, delt class. We call it the delt 20s. Come on, folks, finish. Finish them up. Finish them up. Hi. Yes. And that's delt 20s. Combines a little bit of hybrid and a little bit, of course, innervation training. Those 20 non lockout reps that begin the whole thing. And then adding that locomotion so we get the combination of, of constant tension and uh, locomotion to add intensity. You could see a little bit of confusion in the walk there. Oxygen dead, so we got a huge double payoff because there's a metabolic effect. Uh, what that feel like, Coach? That's a tough one for sure, and a lot of people, like, and like you said before, you like to use a lot of delt finishers. A lot of people don't even think about doing high reps for delts, but it's one of the hardest things you can do. Like, I can't feel any part of my delt right now that isn't pumped up. Yeah, you almost have so, to lean on something yeah, after. Yeah, it hurts a little bit. To, yeah, just you don't want them to hang, hand. you don't yeah. want them to pick up, so give that a try for sure, and don't be scared of doing something a little bit different once in a while. Couple sets of those at the end of a workout, if it's dealt day or not, depends on your program design, of course. But a couple sets of those, they'll make a man out of you.